Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have another Two Looks One palette, the first one of the year, and the first two tutorials I filmed in this room. So I hope they come out, they came out okay, considering I don't have that white background to help with the color combo. We'll see how it goes when I edit this. But I decided to do it on the Violet Voss uh, Fruit Sorbet palette. This was requested since last year. I finally got around to it. This is what the palette looks like here. I used almost all the shades, but these two right here. So this is look number two. So if you are wondering and want to see two looks with this palette, stay tuned for look number one. Hello everyone. So today I'm doing two looks on palette, obviously. Uh, you guys already seen that from the intro. So I am using the Violet Vost Fruit Sorbet palette that I hauled in my first haul of the year. This was things that I purchased in October and November of last year that I never got a chance to show you. So I wanted to use this palette. I have no clue what I'm doing. So we're just gonna jump right in. All right, so the first color I think I'm gonna use is this pink one right here. And I'm going to use that in my crease. As always with all of my Two Looks One palette, I have already done my face and I have done my cheeks and my highlight, as you guys can see. Just so you guys can see more of the eye look all last year I showed you guys basically how to pair a blush with colorful looks because I did it with almost all of my two looks on palette so unless you guys want me to continue I'm just going to do the eyes when it comes to the two looks one palette now for let's see I want to grab a mixture of this orange and this red right here and put it actually in my crease I'm gonna grab just a dot of the red I don't know how pigmented this is. Okay. And put it right into our crease as you guys can see. To deepen the look up, I want to use this maroon shade right here. I'm going to put that in the outer part. Oh, this looks like such a pretty shade for like a lead shade. I'm going to go back into the orange just to put it in a little bit more because I lost a bit of it, so I just want it to come back. Just a tad, there we go. All right, so now for the lids, I pulled out these two that I also hauled. These are the Ulta Beauty Cream Glitter Cream Shadows, and I think I'm gonna go with this one, which is called Psych. <laughs> so this is what it looks like here going to put it on a pencil because I don't like putting these right on my eyes because then I lose control. I'm going to put this on the space that we do not have any shadow. Oh my, that is gorgeous. It's like a iridescent, it looks pink in the tube, look. <sighs> and then it turns out to be like this purple, bluish, pink shade. Oh, that is stunning. I did it. Very pretty. I do want to go back into the maroon shade and still trying to deepen out that outer part a little bit more. I'm going to pack it on there. There we go. Now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go with this blue. That blue is stunning. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on that lower lash line. Mm. 
All right, so I'm gonna do wing liner lashes, and I think for, um, let's see. All right, so for uh, my waterline, I'm gonna use this twinkling or twirling purple by Lancome. Then I'm gonna do wing liner lashes mascara, and then we'll come back and finish the lips, okay? Sounds good? Good. Okay, so I wanna go back into the palette now that I have everything on, and go with this yellow in the inner corner. And I know that might sound weird, really want to put this yellow in the inner corner. Okay. For lips, I'm going to just use a nude lip liner, but I am going to use this Revlon Ultra, what are these called? Why do I ever have a name? Ultra HD lipstick in Twilight, which is this purple. Been dying to use it. Let me bring back the mirror. Been dying to use it, so I'm gonna use this today. All right, you guys, that was look at number one. Now stay tuned for look number two with the fruit sorbet palette that I just used. All right guys, so today we are doing look number two with the Violet Voss Fruit Sorbet. And this time I'm going to strictly stick to the palette and not bring anything else in. I know last time with the last look I did do that, but for this one I don't. So for today, I think I'm gonna start out with this pink shade right here and put this in the crease. Just to start out, I think this is what I did the last time too, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with the burgundy shade and we're going to put this in our crease right below the pink. Top part, I want to add a little bit of this yellow here and then I just blend out the edges with it. Now for the lid, I'm gonna use this blue shade right here. Seal a brush and just see how this works. This might be better with your finger. We're wet. I'm gonna grab more of that burgundy shade and just blend out the edges in there. And then for the lower lash line, I wanna use this green here and really pack that on. Then for the inner corner, I'm going to use this shade right here. All right, you guys, you know the drill. Lashes, mascara, la um, wing liner, and then I'll be back so we could do the lips. Okay, so this is the eye look. For the lips, I'm gonna do Stila Aspiring Lip Liner with Bite Beauty Honeycomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm also gonna add my Laura Geller Lip Gloss on top. All right, you guys, so this is look number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this little palette to look um, 
one palette. If there is any other looks you want me to do with this, let me know. The only color I really didn't use is this matte beige and this black. So maybe I'll do a look separately with including those in it. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.